What happens when science crosses the line between species? In today's video, we'll uncover 20 jaw-dropping hybrid experiments that push the boundaries of ethics and nature. From genetically engineered animals to mind-bending chimeras, we'll explore the dark side of science and the shocking implications these experiments have for our future. Buckle up. This is a journey you won't want to miss. Number 20. Zonkey. A zonkey is a mix between a male zebra and a female donkey. It's part of a group called zebroids, which also includes other zebra hybrids like the zorse, a zebra horse mix. Most zonkeys, like other zebroids, can't have babies, but people have been breeding them since the early 1800s for different reasons. At first, they were used for work, like carrying goods and weapons, because they combine the strength and disease resistance of zebras with the tameness of donkeys and horses. Over time, people started breeding zonkeys for their unique look. Their stripes and exotic appearance made them popular for riding, especially in tough environments. Zebras, found in places like Africa, are strong and resistant to diseases, so breeders hoped to create animals that could survive harsh climates. And since you can't really ride zebras, zonkeys became an interesting alternative. They're fast and strong, just like zebras, which is why they were valued. One surprising event happened in 2020 at Chulu Hills National Park in Kenya. A zebra, pregnant and rescued by park rangers, gave birth to a zonkey. This was a big shock because everyone expected a normal zebra baby. This rare hybrid with zebra stripes and a donkey-like body quickly caught people's attention and showed that sometimes animals from different species can mix in the wild. Even though zonkeys and other zebroids are rare and look cool, they raise important questions about crossbreeding animals. Since most hybrids can't reproduce and they're often bred for human use, it makes people think about the ethics of such experiments. But the story of zonkeys, especially the wild ones, shows how nature can surprise us with unique creatures. Number 19. Tasmanian Tiger The Tasmanian Tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a large meat-eating marsupial that lived in Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. Unfortunately, it went extinct in the 1930s due to hunting, habitat loss, and a lack of genetic diversity. It looked like a big dog with tiger-like stripes, but it wasn't related to either animal. In fact, it was closer to kangaroos. In recent years, scientists have been trying to bring the Tasmanian tiger back using new genetic technologies. Even though the thylacine went extinct less than 100 years ago, scientists have preserved its DNA in jars in various collections. This DNA could be used to help revive the species. Researchers have been working on inserting thylacine genes into animals that are closely related, like mice, to study gene behavior and develop cloning techniques. In 2023, a $5 million donation to the University of Melbourne gave scientists the funding they needed to open a lab dedicated to bringing back the Tasmanian tiger. While they've made a lot of progress, there are still many challenges like finding a complete thylacine genome and addressing ethical concerns. If they succeed, reintroducing the thylacine to its natural habitat will be both exciting and raise more ethical questions. Number 18. Human-Chimpanzee Hybrid The idea of a human-chimpanzee hybrid, sometimes called a human-Z, has intrigued scientists and the public for a long time. Humans and chimps share a common ancestor, and even though they evolved in different ways millions of years ago, some scientists have speculated about the possibility of crossbreeding. One shocking claim came from psychologist Gordon Gallup in 2018. He said that back in the 1920s, researchers in Florida inseminated a female chimp with human sperm, which supposedly resulted in the birth of a human-chimp hybrid. Gallup claimed this hybrid baby which had traits from both species, sparked ethical concerns and moral questions. The scientists, realizing the gravity of what they'd done, decided to euthanize the baby. However, there's no solid proof that this experiment really happened. But the story has reignited discussions about the limits of science, the ethics of cross-species research, and the consequences of blurring the line between humans and animals. Number 17. The Great Auk the great auk was a large seabird once common in the North Atlantic. It was about 30 inches tall and was specially adapted for life in the sea. Unlike most birds, its wings were designed for swimming, not flying, so it was a strong swimmer but couldn't fly. 
Sadly, its inability to fly made it an easy target for hunters. By the 1500s, European fishermen started hunting the great auk for its meat and feathers, especially in areas near Iceland. This led to a sharp decline in their numbers. By the mid-1800s, the great auk was almost extinct. In 1950, the last two known great auks were killed by a fisherman on LD Island, Iceland. However, scientists today are exploring ways to bring the great auk back using genetic information from preserved remains. They hope to edit its DNA into a closely related bird, the razorbill, which might be able to carry some of the great ox traits. A group called Revive and Restore is leading this effort with cutting-edge genetic technology. Number 16. Bringing back woolly mammoths. Scientists are working on an exciting project to bring back the woolly mammoth, a giant animal that went extinct over 10,000 years ago. Instead of bringing the mammoth back exactly as it was, Researchers plan to use genetic editing, like CRISPR technology, to add mammoth traits into modern Asian elephants. The goal is to create a hybrid with mammoth-like features, like smaller ears, thick fur, and more body fat to survive in cold environments. Some experts believe these hybrid animals could be walking the earth in less than five years. However, there are concerns about whether we should focus on reviving extinct species or spend resources protecting endangered animals alive today. There are also ecological questions. What impact might these new mammoth-like animals have on the environment? Number 15. Hybrid Lions In the 1980s, Chutbir Zoo in India started a project to help increase the lion population. They tried breeding domestic lions with African lions, hoping the hybrids could strengthen the dwindling Asiatic lion population. They rescued two African lions from a circus and paired them with Asiatic lions. Unfortunately, the hybrid cubs had serious health problems, such as weak legs and poor immune systems. By 2000, the zoo had bred over 70 hybrid lions, but due to their poor health, the breeding program was stopped. The male lions were given vasectomies to prevent further breeding, and the zoo decided to let the remaining lions live out their lives naturally. This project shows how difficult it can be to manage hybrid animals and the ethical challenges that come with it. Number 14. The Liger. A Liger is a mix between a male lion and a female tiger. These animals are known for being huge, often growing over 10 feet long and weighing more than 900 pounds. The largest Ligers can even weigh up to 2,200 pounds, making them the biggest big cats in the world. Ligers don't exist in the wild because lions and tigers live in different parts of the world. Lions in Africa, tigers in Asia, so they never meet naturally. The ligers we see today are bred in captivity, like in zoos. The first liger was documented in the late 1700s, and by 2017, there were about 100 ligers in the world, mostly in private facilities or zoos. Although they are impressive because of their size, breeding ligers raises ethical concerns. Many animal rights groups and governments are against it because ligers often face serious health issues like birth defects, obesity, and abnormal growth. They grow much larger than their lion or tiger parents, which puts a lot of pressure on their bodies and organs, causing them to have shorter lives and health problems. Ligers also have mixed behavior. For example, they might be social like lions, but also act alone like tigers which can cause confusion and difficulty when interacting with other animals. Despite these challenges, many people are fascinated by ligers because of their massive size and the allure of big cats. But it's important to think about the ethical issues, as the health and well-being of the ligers are often compromised for the sake of entertainment. Number 13. The Dodo Bird The Dodo Bird was a large, flightless bird that once lived on the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. These birds became a symbol of extinction after humans caused their demise. The dodos lived peacefully until humans arrived in the early 1500s. The first Portuguese sailors and later European explorers easily hunted them since dodos didn't fear humans and had no natural predators. The situation worsened when humans brought other animals like monkeys, rats, and pigs, which ate dodo eggs and competed for food. By 1681, Dodos were completely extinct due to human actions and the changes in their environment. However, scientists are now trying to bring the dodo back. In 2007, 
they found a well-preserved dodo skeleton that allowed them to extract DNA. Researchers in Australia are looking into the possibility of using pigeon DNA, because pigeons are genetically similar to dodos, to revive the dodo. Number 12. Cuban Crocodile Hybridization Researchers from Cuba and the U.S. recently discovered a worrying issue for the endangered Cuban crocodile. American crocodiles, which share the same habitat, are breeding with Cuban crocodiles, which could threaten the survival of the Cuban species. While it was known they could mate in captivity, this is the first time they've confirmed it's happening in the wild. Cuban crocodiles are special because of their strong leaping skills and fierce nature, making them an important part of Cuban culture. Unfortunately, their population has dropped dramatically, and only about 3,000 Cuban crocodiles remain in the wild, mostly in the Zapata Swamp. Excessive hunting in the past, particularly in the mid-1900s, severely reduced their numbers. DNA analysis from 89 crocodiles showed that Cuban and American crocodiles in Cuba are more closely related to each other than American crocodiles from mainland Central America. This close relationship raises concerns that hybridization could cause the Cuban crocodile to lose its unique traits. This situation, combined with illegal hunting and habitat loss, could lead to the Cuban crocodile being replaced by hybrids if left unchecked. Number 11. Beetle Computer Hybrid Scientists at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore have come up with something amazing, a combination of beetles and computers. They figured out how to control live beetles by connecting tiny computers and radios to them. By sending electrical signals to the beetles' nervous systems, they can control how fast the beetles walk and even change their steps. This idea isn't completely new. There have been experiments with cockroaches before, but now it's taken to a whole new level. Some think these beetle-computer hybrids could help in rescue missions after disasters, like earthquakes, by sending them into hard-to-reach places to find trapped people. While this idea is exciting, it's still not clear how far this technology can go. It could also be used for spying, since these tiny insects can get into places that robots or drones can't. However, creating these cyborg bugs also raises ethical questions about the right way to use living creatures in technology. Number 10. Geep, Goat-Sheep Hybrid A geep is a rare animal born from a goat and a sheep. Though goats and sheep often graze together, their genes are usually too different to make babies. But every once in a while, a geep is born. One famous geep is named Butterfly, born in a petting zoo in Arizona. The owners were surprised because they didn't even know the sheep was pregnant, especially since they didn't have any male sheep around. Butterfly looks a bit like both a goat and a sheep. She has a goat's feet and face, but she also has wool like a sheep and a longer sheep-like tail. She also acts more like a playful jumpy goat. This unique mix makes Butterfly a special and loved animal at the petting zoo. Number 9. Hybrid Bear – Grizzly Polar Bear Mix In Canada, a hunter found a bear that looked unusual. It turned out to be a hybrid of a polar bear and a grizzly bear, known as a growler bear or pidsley bear. This hybrid bear had white fur like a polar bear, but brown paws and huge claws like a grizzly. Its head shape was also more like a grizzly. These mixed bears are becoming more common as climate change forces grizzlies and polar bears to live closer together. Scientists believe this blending of species is a result of their territories overlapping more due to warmer weather in the Arctic. This hybrid is a reminder of how climate change can impact animals and their genetics. Number 8. Cow-Human Hybrid In 2008, scientists conducted a controversial experiment involving human and cow genes. The goal was to find treatments for diseases like Parkinson's. They took a cow's egg, removed its nucleus, and replaced it with human cells to create an embryo that could produce valuable stem cells for research. While this was a big step forward for stem cell research, it raised many ethical concerns. Environmental groups were worried about what might happen if milk from these hybrid cows entered the food supply, fearing it could cause allergies or other health issues. They also worried about the possibility of these genetically modified cows escaping into the wild and causing problems for natural ecosystems. Number 7. Human-Mouse Hybrid In a famous experiment, scientists grew a human-shaped ear on the back of a mouse. They used cow cells to make a cartilage mold that looked like an ear. 
This mold was placed under the mouse's skin, where it grew into the right shape. They used a special type of mouse with a weak immune system, so it wouldn't reject the transplant. While this was a big step in regenerative medicine, it caused protests in the 1990s. Even though the mouse lived a normal life after the ear was removed, it was later put down, as is common in lab experiments. Number 6. Kunga. The Kunga was one of the earliest hybrid animals created by humans in ancient Mesopotamia. It was a cross between a female donkey and a male wild donkey, and was used for heavy work like pulling wagons and plowing fields before horses were introduced to the region. Kungas were highly valued, even given as gifts at weddings, because of their strength and endurance. Number 5. Narluga. In the late 1980s, a hunter in Greenland found strange whales that looked like a mix of narwhals and belugas. These whales had features from both species and researchers believed they might be hybrids, calling them narlugas. While narwhals and belugas live in the same waters and might mate, it's hard for scientists to confirm because their breeding habits are difficult to observe due to thick sea ice. Number 4. Pyrenean Ibex. The Pyrenean Ibex, once found in the Pyrenees Mountains, went extinct in 2000. The last one, a female named Celia, died when a tree fell on her. However, in 2009, scientists managed to clone Celia using her DNA, briefly bringing the species back to life. The cloned Ibex only survived for seven minutes before dying, but it was still a groundbreaking achievement in cloning and gave hope for possibly reviving other extinct species. Number 3. Beefaloes. Beefaloes are a hybrid between buffalo and cows, created in the 1970s. They have at least 17% bison genetics and are known for their strength, disease resistance, and ability to thrive in different temperatures. Beefaloes are easy to manage, produce meat that's lower in fat and cholesterol, and are also good mothers with long productive lives, making them a popular choice among farmers. Number 2. The Ultimate Cow Hybrid. The Super Cow or Belgian Blue, is a type of cow created through selective breeding that started in Belgium in the 1800s. Farmers crossed local cows with shorthorn cows and over time picked the biggest and most muscular ones to breed. This led to the Belgian Blue, a cow that looks incredibly bulky, almost like a bodybuilder, because of a genetic mutation called double muscling. This mutation makes them grow much more muscle than usual. While these cows produce more meat, which is great for the beef industry, their large size causes problems. Many Belgian blues have trouble giving birth naturally, so they often need a cesarean section to deliver their calves safely. Number 1. Toyger. The Toyger cat was developed in the 1980s by Judy Sugden, an American breeder who is the daughter of Jean Mill, the creator of the Bengal cat breed. Judy wanted to make a cat that looked like a miniature tiger, and it all started when she noticed a unique pattern of spots on one of her tabby kittens. From there, she worked on breeding cats to create the striped, tiger-like look. In 2007, the Toyger was officially recognized as a breed by the International Cat Association. Today, Toygers are loved for their beautiful tiger-like stripes and are popular with cat lovers. Thanks for watching. If you found these hybrid experiments as shocking as we did, Give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more eye-opening content about the dark side of science. Until next time, stay curious.